Hello guys and welcome to episode 35 of my Total War Warhammer playthrough playing as the Greenskins on very hard difficulty and today it's time to take on the Empire. We are moving on with Grutshod and Krugger as we approach Altdorf. He's probably going to have a crazy garrison for us to deal with. It's quite late into the game, 136 turns, so if that has an upgraded garrison or an upgraded settlement, that's definitely going to have steam tanks we're going to have to deal with. Uh, as for Grutshod, did we actually give him any items? No, we didn't. So I'm going to do this. We'll give him the Shield of Tolus. We'll give him the extra melee attack and defense. He's a goblin great shaman, so anything that with defense is better than anything else. Defense's blade is fine. Uh, as for the talisman, well, we can give him the uh, ward safe. Enchanted item, missile resistance. Earthing rod is fine. Uh, currently, he's getting income from looting settlements, which is fine. And get post battle chance of stealing a magic item. Uh, reduction in vampiric and chaos corruption might be alright, but income from sacking settlements definitely. And yeah, we may as well get Gobbo Ranta. Okay, and that's pretty much all we can give him, so that's fine. The Grutshod will be sorted out in the next turn. Varag has his six units of Savage Orc Archer Boys, and we're waiting now on the upgrade of the Savage Orc Host. As for Largog One Finger, he's travelling north, so we can let him do that on his own. Let's move on to the next turn. So we do have armies travelling up north. It looks like uh, the Wa did actually go and destroy Grunberg. Told it to attack Eilhart, but apparently Grunberg was also a target for them. A decisive victory for our war and the mission successful that a mission issued to recruit the following type of unit war beast an arachnorok spider as the slaughterer or an orc war boss with a war beast focus okay well <laughs> that that Wa is going to head towards Alhart for us. <laughs> I was going to attack uh, Grunberg with Kruger, but apparently that's not going to happen now. Uh, he does have his Orc Shaman coming to uh, follow him up. So in the meantime, let's just uh, move on forwards. Maybe 50%. We'll go back into Encamp. Then we'll have uh, Grutshod actually just march towards Helmgart. And he can destroy that for us. Right, as for Wurzag, Wurzag was actually heading up north to help deal with Varg, so we'll do that. And we'll have Azag move on to attack Ilya, so we need to get across this river eventually, so we'll move on. Miragliano is actually not that well defended at the moment, so maybe we just go straight for Miragliano. Doesn't have a massive garrison, it's a lot of hand gunners. Quite a lot of uh, great swords. I think Azag's army, with a decent siege, would be able to take that out. But I think what we're going to do is just march down south and take down uh, Lucini in the bottom. And then we'll move up north once the army leaves the settlement. As for Grimgor, we can upgrade with Woundmaker. Uh, Morglus is going to carry on north to Kazid Borg Karag. I might, I might take Krakadrak first, actually. Let's just have a look at our objectives to see which ones we actually need. We need uh, Shotraken, which is there. We need Kazid Borg Karag, which is right in front of us. Krakadrak, which is right there. Then we need uh, Kalarak Izor, which is owned by the Wood Elves. Kalak Norn, which is still held by Kalak Norn, and Kalak Ziflin, which is still held by Kalak Ziflin. So, I guess the way I'm going to do it is we'll attack Kalak Norn and Kalak Ziflin, then the last thing we'll do is attack the Wood Elves or Kalak Izor, because I don't necessarily want to go to war with them too soon, else they might start to do a lot of damage to us. Uh, they are strength rank 2. As for the Empire, well, they're strength rank 9 at the moment. They don't really have much left. We have to destroy them, I believe, in order to win the campaign. But that's something that we need to do. We also need to earn a certain amount from raiding. 
we can do that towards the end of the campaign as well. Uh, let's have uh, Varag actually move over to like Stone Mine Tower. Because then what he can do is from Stone Mine Tower just go across and jump on to this lands and help out with uh, either Tilia or the Wood Elves by the time he's actually recruited his army. Uh, Largug's heading up north to help complete the quest, so we'll just continue him on his way. And we do have 10k to spend, so just got to find out where I want to put this cash. We'll definitely get the Goblin Watchtower on the build. We'll get the heap of shiny stuff and upgrade this to a Greenskin Burrows ASAP. That's used up the majority of our cash. Anywhere else that is new... Uh, Kazadur Kalaz, we definitely need to upgrade this to an orc guard house, so we'll do that. And that will do nicely. I send the turn. The Wa is moving on. Hopefully won't attempt to attack Altdorf, that would be uh, rather silly. Then again, the AI is very dumb sometimes. And wow, they recruited a lot of units in Tilia. That's pretty crazy. Foolish Vain Glory, definitely going to get the war further. Um, yeah, so let, look down here. They basically recruited a full army in like two turns with Leonardo Catraza. That's pretty insane. We're going to move down Azag towards Lucini. We can definitely destroy that. And we'll have to uh, focus on Leonardo's army at some point. Rugger the Nose Picker. Gonna finish off Scarred Veteran. Wurzag. Was gonna carry on north. But does he need to? I guess he will, just in case. Uh, Morglus took a lot of attrition in the last turn. Uh, let's go into Kazid Bork Karag and uh, settle that. If we can. <laughs> Colonize that. Lovely jubbly. And what I'm actually going to do at Kazid Bork Karaz is, is actually buy the um, growth building so that we can get the growth going quick enough to get uh, level 2 walls in these uh, settlements. For now, I think we're fine just sort of staying there and replenishing. Rutshod can take out Helmgart this turn. We'll do that. Or to resolve it. And we will sack it. Next turn we will raise it. Great stuff. May as well go into ambush stance actually, in case any armies come nearby. And we're going to start to level up shooters, just because I think... Uh, the extra melee or range damage is, is good, especially on these Night Goblin ar uh, archers with fanatics. Although I did just realize that we don't actually have that many range forces in that army. Kind of makes that a bit more pointless. Uh, let's get uh, Huglug into Krugger's army and then Krugger safe to move on. Go into March Stance so we can actually go somewhere this turn. Rag is still. Here, so he can go and sit in Stone Mine Tower. Let me just jump into the provinces and, and see what's going on. Uh, so with Black Mountains, we'll probably change Camp Ruckus to Give It Here. And uh, in Blightwater, you already have a Give It Here. I might just finish off these uh, these Orc Guard Houses. You never know what's going to happen. <laughs> and Balakvar. We can go for the give it here. Death Pass, we already have it. And the Desolation of Nagash is the same. At the Eastern Badlands, we're currently at plus four. We can go for give it here. Very nice. And Northern World's Edge Mountains. It's only plus one currently, but we can get the Horde and we can also get the Boss's Tent to build there. At uh, Peak Pass, we can definitely upgrade to the Boss's Camp. Currently being raided by the Jaggerhorn tribes, so that's kind of annoying. In the Southern Badlands, we can change this to Give It Ear. And at the Silver Road, we can do the same. 
Western Badlands and Zufbar are okay. We can change this to give it here. That should actually improve our income dramatically in the next turn. Arga can continue on his own way, so we can just end the turn there. Grimgore's actually got low fightiness. Uh, well, we'll do in the next turn. That's fine. We can definitely just uh, quell an animosity with him. Let's carry on. It's crazy because we haven't really been doing many fights with uh, Grimgore. At least Azag can destroy Lucini for us. Looks like Leonardo Catraz is on his way down. Varga on their way up. Okay, so maybe it was a good idea to send uh, Wurzag up north. Because at least he can uh, back up our army up there. And we'll have, obviously, uh, Grimgore over there soon as well. Uh, so we're going to uh, quell animosity so that he can replenish. And then we'll have him move up north as well. Uh, Morglus is going to continue to replenish his troops. I'm a bit worried about Varg catching up to this army and destroying it. So maybe we let Bord Krag go and we take Krakadrak like I had planned originally. Might be a better way of doing things. Yeah, we're going to leave Kazid Borkarag. If they attack it and destroy it, then so be it. What do you want? Okay, let's get Kruger to move on. Uh, we can actually have Grutshod just uh, destroy Helmgart for us this turn. Raise that. And uh, we will level him up. Get extra shooters. Actually, we didn't want to do shooters, did we? Nah, never mind, too late. Um, we'll move Kruger onwards towards Alhart. And we're actually just going to cancel the war target so that Kruger has the uh, war at his back for when we attack Old Dorf. Right, meanwhile, Grimgore is going to be quelling animosity. Azag is going to be destroying Lassini for us. Am I going to sack it? I'm, I think I'm just going to raise it. We're just going to raise it. Doesn't give them a chance to get back any of their forces then. And uh, that's fine. Varag Squigbeard is okay at Stonemine Tower. One more turn until we can actually recruit some Savage Orc Biggins and Orc Boy, Orc Boy Biggins. That's good. Uh, Largug and carry on. He's nearly at his location. That's pretty much everything done for this turn. So let's move on to the next one. Just got to keep an eye on that Varg army. Just trying to Stay away from it for now. If we can get some walls behind us, then we should be fine. Okay, so Tilia moving down with Leonardo Catraza. He's definitely going to want to attack Azag's army. So we can have a good look at his army at some point. We're going to go for Gork for the extra fightiness. Uh, like, immediately. And, yeah, let's have a look at Azag. No. So, Leonardo, his army, we can't actually see it properly. I think we're going to move on to the water here. And move away. We can actually replenish in this sea. Is okay. Right, Kruger can slam into Isleheart. And uh, we're going to auto-resolve that. We will sack it. And what I'll do is get our Wa to raise that for us. So we'll select the Wa. I'll get Isleheart. It can finish that off for us. And Grutshod can move 50% uh, into Raiding Camp. And we can raid our way towards Altdorf. Right, Grimgore's busy replenishing this turn. Uh, Wurzag's on his way up. And we're going to hopefully be able to take Cracker Drac. If not, that kind of sucks. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're able to. We'll just have to move in underway stance towards that. As it Borg Karag. 
I'm gonna go for the idols. And yeah, Grimgore's fine, Krugger's fine. The Krugger we could put into raiding camp as well, actually. Barag can recruit more troops. Great. You can get the Savage Orc Boar Boy Biggins. Gonna recruit plenty of those. I think in general, the Savage Orc Boar Boys are just worse from their anti infantry trait. We'll get like one unit of them just so that we can see them, and then I'm just gonna get some Savage Orc Biggins. Finish off the army there. Great. So, Largurg heading up north. And Grimgore is replenishing. So, let's end the turn again. We're going to have both of my armies hit Altdorf at the same time. Hopefully, the uh, Wa did destroy that settlement for me. Oh, wow. There's a lot of Varg armies up here. Assault unit success. And mission failed. Oh, that's too bad. So now, Grimgore is ready to go. See how far we can get with March. I think March, March is better. We're going to march on with Grimgore up north to take on uh, Varg. So we're going to take control of Krakadrak. And hopefully replenish quite a lot of our forces. Does look like we're dealing with uh, obedience issues up here as well at the same time. Um, let's have uh, Larga move over to Beersonling's camp and we will deploy. Uh, Wurzag needs to get up here as soon as possible. Uh, Azag, uh, well, I might just keep him on the water to replenish, or maybe we can get him near Miragliano and put him into like raiding camp. Not entirely sure. And let's move around to uh, Gronti Mingol, and uh, we will replenish our forces there. And then once we've built Varag Squigbeard's army, we can uh, follow up with that army. And that could be our reinforcements uh, to take on Delia and destroy them once and for all. Uh, that's about it for this turn, though. Everything has been moved. Although, Krugger and Grutshod can probably move forwards. These guys actually attack Tileheart yet. I hope they have. Or well, they will do in the next turn. I'm just going to move uh, Rug around. Continue with the uh, raiding camp. And we're going to move Grutshod further around. Go into raiding camp as well. So that's not only giving them a replenishment, but it's also helping towards our goal of raiding income. So we can take our time there. Let's uh, end the turn. Actually, before I end the turn go through the buildings because I've kind of been neglecting that. We'll get the level 2 walls of Migdal Vongol Barak, pretty important. And we can also get the boss's tent there as well. Uh, let's see, yeah, where else can we build stuff? Might be worth just uh, upgrading these. We get walls. Can upgrade uh, Kalakangor for sure. It's definitely worth doing so we can get access to the stakes there. And we'll just save the rest of the cash. Great. So we've almost got rid of Chaos Corruption entirely now. And also like Vampiric Corruption. <laughs> With the Vampire Counts destroyed. And all, I think Chaos is destroyed as well. That's all okay. Can we actually peace out with Marg? It might be worth doing. We can now because they're not controlled by chaos. Speak. That would require us to actually have done done some damage to them. Hmm. Are well, not many actual races left <laughs> in the old world. <laughs> Greenskins have nearly <laughs> destroyed them all. Be crazy. Let's move on to the next turn. not entirely sure what our technologies are doing. I might actually check that in the next turn. Azibor Karaz is 
under attack. We're just going to let that happen. Six Chaos Chariots in that army. It's just disgusting. And quest successful. Crown of Sorcery to deploy a Goblin Big Boss in the Goro Madney Mountains. So, despite low expectations, the Goblin Scout has found a possible location for this lost city that Azag's increasingly loony shaman insists on calling Todheim. The shaman rants on about some Humi necromancer who has some connection with the place and whose iron crown is rumoured to be there. The crown is said to allow its wearer to wield sorcerer's powers. He also mutters something about the crown's ability to possess its wearer, but Azag isn't paying attention anymore. The scout has found an horrible place that stinks of the ruinous powers. However, to loot it will be no easy feat, as circling above the ruins are flying creatures, blocks of fell bats and other more monstrous things. Be able to fully explore the dead city, Azag's mob will need to control the skies as well as the land. We have to have four units of missile infantry in Azag's army. Battle of Ironheart, decisive victory. And yeah, Azag, well he only has three units. Uh, I guess we can give him an extra unit of, uh, unless actually Goblin Rock Clobbers count as missile units. We're gonna move him into uh, Grontim and Gol anyway. Where is his Wa actually? Because I'm pretty sure he has enough fightiness to get a Wa. Where is his Wa? Unless it hasn't spawned yet, he's gonna get it next turn. Not sure. Anyway, uh, we are waiting on one more unit of Savage Orc Biggins. I think we're just gonna cancel that. What I'm going to do is recruit a hero. I'm going to get uh, maybe a shaman. Join him. We might get uh, Gozbag, I think. Who is honourable with extra 10 leadership. He can join Varag's army. So we'll get Varag onto the water. He can travel on down. And a Tekrand. Might actually upgrade this. Before we do that, let's move on Grimgore. Rakadrak is still under the control of Morglus, that's fine. Wurzag is heading up north. Do I want to bump into Eric Helenson though? I guess it's just, there's no Marauder Horseman, it's literally all melee. So we could engage all his Marauder Horse, or his Marauder uh, Chaos Marauders with Black Orcs. And we just have to bog down his chariots with the rest of our units. Got six units. Uh, how would I get rid of them? I do have, obviously, Spider Riders. I think we just march forwards. Uh, maybe not into the attrition, though. We march onwards. Uh, then we'll go into like underway stance from now on. Make some ground. Morglus is still busy like replenishing his forces, so be a bit worried about that because he could definitely be attacked at Cracker Drac. We'll have walls soon though. So the Greenskin hideout. We do have two armies on the way, like Grimgor and Wurzag are both heading north. Okay, what we're going to do with Largug then? He's done his job. Then we're going to have him uh, move over and maybe like distract some of these armies. We can block these armies. It's like an 84% chance of success as well. So that will stop them from attacking Krakadrak anytime soon. I think uh, all of my other armies are done for now. We do have the extra cash and I think I'm just going to upgrade Ekrand. We'll do that. My armies are fully formed and ready to go. You have a Savage Orc army. Like Varg is not going for Cracker Drac just yet. Battle at Marbad's tomb was won by our Wa, and Wurzag has got his own Wa now. 
Rebellion at Giant Home Mountains is on its way. Okay. No. So, Snazdrog Tooth Attacker. I think we're going to set him onto Karaberg. No. Actually, let's not do that. Let's just clear the uh, the wild target. And uh, we will move Grutshod towards Altdorf. Alongside Krugger. The Krugger can't go into raiding stance, but that's fine. We're getting 1,434 this turn from raiding near Old Dorf. That's pretty incredible. Let's uh, continue on with Grimgore. We're actually just going to consolidate all our forces in the Giant Home Mountains. Might just get the Cave of Shinies. Actually, you know, I'm definitely going to stick with my plan of getting the idols so I can upgrade the settlement sooner than later. Um, let's get... Uh, Wurzag to jump into the underway stance. Next turn he can take Kazid Borkarag. And Krugger, an army of savage orcs, Twig Herd and so on. I'm guessing we can just uh, tell him to stay with Wurzag for now. Alright, Azag. Where is his war? I have no idea where it actually is. Let's just go into... Uh, Strategic overview. Because we've got one like up here with Krugger. We've got one with Wurzag now. I don't know where the one or Azag is. It just disappeared, I think. Now, can we attack Tilly on the water? I'm not entirely sure if that's a great idea or not. I think we just let them attack us. Or wait until they get off the water. I'm going to continue with shooters for now. And we're going to have uh, Gosbag come on down. We'll get onto shore here with Varag Squigbeard. And yeah, when Tilia decides what they want to do, we will use both of these armies to destroy them. Right, meanwhile, Morgus is continuing to replenish his forces. There is going to be a rebellion soon, which is kind of annoying. We might have to use Wurzag to back up Morglus in taking out the Rebellion, honestly. At least they're sort of hanging around uh, Frozen Landing, that's fine. Yeah, normally, like, for example, the Waz sit underneath the armies on the army thing here, but obviously Azag is currently at war status, but he actually doesn't have one. It must have bugged out or something, I don't know. By the way, I did want to look at my... Uh, my technologies. So, we're currently going for the extra melee defense for greenskin chariots. And then we're going towards the extra weapon strength for orc units. Yeah, that's fine. And we may as well go for the extra 10% weapon strength for cavalry units as well. After that. That's, that's good. We'll end the turn there. There's actually a Chaos Rebellion. is isn't the best. Up north. Alright, where's Tilio going? They're back on land. Rebellion at the giant home mountains. And our technology has been researched. Assault units failure. Great. Let's get uh, Wurzag to run on round to Krakadrak. Oh, there's loads of Varg armies up here, like absolutely tons of them. Grimgore's going to march as far as he can without taking attrition. Looks like that might be hard work up north. As for our objectives down here, currently earn... 12,400 from raiding. I reckon we could probably push this a bit more. We go like 50%, go to encamp, and we go like 50% with Krugger, and encamp this turn. Get even more raiding income from that. Morglis will be raiding as well. Azag is fine to jump on the water here, I think. Same with uh, Varag. We'll put them both into normal stance. 
And I guess we'll jump onto land and head towards Maragliano. We've got plenty of time to come back if they actually try and siege us. In the meantime, we're just going to carry on and try and take out Maragliano before they get close. Because without that army there, Leonardo Catraza has definitely left his uh, seti open for the taking. Morgus has leveled up. Continue with shooters. Gosbag needs to join that army at some point so he can just carry on down there. Argug. Go and hang out near Winterpyre. And that's about it. Lovely jubbly. Nothing really to spend our cash on, I don't think, so we'll just move on to the next turn. Then what we're going to do is start the siege of uh, Maragliano. Oh wow, we are being surrounded up north <laughs> quite badly. The spoils of the war. We need to raid uh, Sal encampment. Scaling has come over here with, what is this? What is this? That is just stupid. There are two armies of just like full chaos chariots. I, I literally hate this game sometimes. I really do. Like, what is that? Okay, so we're just gonna jump away with Grimgor. <laughs> I'm so glad that that didn't get underway interception because I would have just cried. Okay, so. Wurzag is going to jump over to here. Actually, we'll probably just be able to reinforce that straight away. So we'll just run round. I'll slam Morglus into the front of that Chaos Rebellion. We're just going to auto-resolve it. Get the replenishment from it. And uh, probably make that attack again. Auto-resolve. Destroy them. Thank you very much. And what we're going to do is uh, march him back up to Krakadrak. What about Wurzag? Wurzag, can you march back to, towards Krakadrak as well? You can, but you're still going to take attrition. Okay, so we're just going to have to be patient there. I'm going to have to get all of my armies just grouped up, and we're going to have a series of massive battles against the enemy. When they're going to have loads of chariots. <laughs> I can't believe they're scaling the armies. That's just broken. Like, why? Just, just why? With Morglus, we're going to put Blade Master on him now. And uh, that's all for this episode. As I am going to leave it here. So in the next one, we're going to start dealing with the really annoying scaling and Varg armies. That's all for now. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.